Uh, yes. All right. Looks like we got some more games going on. It's Slaw versus JCR. Dude, I would. I'm. I would not want to play against Slaw, dude. He no? looks like. He does look very upset. He's. Is that how he plays? <laughs> dude, <laughs> like he <laughs> looks like he's about to destroy this guy's life in game. Like, he, he's, like, he's just so confident. Like, I love it, dude. Yeah, when you play this game, you gotta come in confident. Like, don't be like cocky and like do dumb things and like not respect your opponent. But like, confidence. It, confidence is super key. Cause as soon as you get put on your back foot, it, it starts looking really, really rough, and your opponent can take advantage of a lot of things. Oh, another cloud. So we've got uh, lots of DLC friends. Uh huh. Rocking that red cloud. Oh. Interesting. The two hit into his forge. Yes, That's that was damage, 26 dude. damage. That's Very like a limit side B. Yeah. Ooh, read the roll. Or rather, did an option that would cover a roll. Uh, yeah, side B seems like it can be a little uh, a little inconsistent sometimes. I personally haven't like seen where the situations are, but seen a lot of times people slip out of it. Just really strange. So a lot of times it just it connects clean and does a ton of damage, and it's great. Yeah. But 17. Then, yeah, it's, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, but then other times we're like, I think it was Mr. E versus Tweak, where he just like gets hit by the first two and then just falls with forward air in the middle before the third air comes out. Like, oh, well, I just got punched in the face with the sword because I was hitting you. I don't understand. <laughs> we're playing melee crush cancel. Yeah, in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been an interesting trap. So Samus actually has some stuff now. She's got some like yeah. up air strings. Uh, B definitely kills. Yeah, throws combo. I don't know if that's a change or she's always had that, honestly, but. Uh, I'm not sure if she's always had that either. Chat, hit us up. Um, but yeah, Samus is really starting to develop. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Those, all the clouds today are like. They're, they're going nuts. They just want to spin. Mm, okay. okay. Well, Rolling. Yeah, that's, a, that's one thing that a lot of people have to be really careful of. Like, when you mess something up, it's not always the correct option to pick up a defensive option yeah. right after you mess up. Because a lot of people like see, see you mess up, and they're like, all right, he's about to freak out and spot dodge or roll. Uh -huh. Yeah, and even necessarily like, a, let's say, com choosing a defensive option with commitment, like yeah, just yeah, dashing yeah. away, especially with the character as fast as Cloud, is a very, very strong thing. Like you'll see Tweak do that a lot, where he, instead of rolling away in positions like that where like he messed up and he's in a bad spot, he'll actually just run away and then pivot grab. So like the, oh, side B, that'll be the kill. Yeah, the rolling away, you know, can be punished if people have to be some dashes. So like Samus can dash grab you, it's got pretty good reach. Uh, but just like running and pivot grabbing instead has less lag, and a lot of times you'll just catch your opponent if they're trying to chase you down early. I, I like the way you, you uh, phrase that a lot better than what I said. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Limits are meant to be broken. Uh-huh, he's going to try and break them. Is that what he says? I believe it is, yeah. I like that it's. I like that they kept it in Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's interesting. Like, like, have you have you seen like the Japanese version of this game? Uh, only a little. They've got a lot of English in it. Yeah. Like a ton. Interesting. Uh. No, I don't know. I, I find it really cool that they when they keep stuff over yeah. across games. I think it is interesting though that um. They chose to go Japanese because they do have like a dedicated cloud voice actor, like who did the stuff for Advent Children, and I believe all it was the same voice actor for like all the Kingdom Hearts and all the like Dissidia and stuff. Um, and I want to say they used him for the trailer. But really? I think so. So I, I want to say what did I, he I, say I in the wrong. trailer? I want to say he says that, that the limits are meant to be broken. That's why people know that that's the line. Huh? I'm but gonna go look Maybe that up. I'm remembering completely incorrectly. The point being that there is like a dedicated cloud voice actor, which I'm sure they could have gotten if they wanted to. So, and which I think is a good cloud, like cloud voice actor. It's not. Uh, it fits the character pretty well. But for some reason, they decided to just stick with Japanese. I know this character. Oh yeah. You, have you played Luigi before? Hi. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> yeah. Going for the misfires. Oh my god. He's just approaches. throwing everything out there. He's just down bees and side bees. Oh, pineapple. Wow. Uh, what you want. Engineered situation. Definitely, <laughs> completely intentional. Push Slaw him off stage, specifically. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna punish on that. 200% yeah, yeah. for the down throw combo, I guess. Okay. 
Ooh. Yeah, man, Slaw <laughs> just, he wants the buttons. He just wants to press Yo, them. Oh my god, he's pressing so nice. many buttons. He just doesn't care. This is great. He's going to side B again. I can just <laughs> feel it. I, I know. You know it? Yeah, I just know it. He just wants to side B. Oh. I don't know that he's uh, he's that discriminatory in his buttons. He just wants to <laughs> he just wants to press anything. Ooh, and that time kind of backfired, getting spiked off stage and while getting his opponent. Slaw gives him the head nod. He's like, all right, I, I respect right. that. I respect that. <laughs> down air, because you knew I was just gonna run off stage, because I'm super aggressive, which is awesome. I love that. <laughs> it's I love fun watching to watch Luigi definitely. Yeah. yeah, and if Luigi gets in your face, like he can definitely box. He has lots of really, really fast hitboxes that do good damage. They even get a really good position afterwards. Two frame jab, friend. Two frame jab as well. And Two it goes jabs so really far. Oh my gosh. The down air, no That's jump left. What a beast. Uh, it's like a minute and a half game. <laughs> <laughs> JCR might have, uh, may not have been ready for that. Got some pineapple pizza. He did get pineapple. Um, you know, I really wish PS2 without transformations was a thing in this yes, game. Yes, that would be really nice. I think that's the one thing people like brought up in like Switch uh, discussion for the new system. Oh like potential, really? Potential, potential Nintendo game. Well, it's you know, Smasher is talking about it, not like yeah, you know, it's not like Nintendo developing the actually. game because Nintendo doesn't talk to us really much, uh, at least on a public level. Um, but yeah, it'd be, in my opinion, it'd be really, really nice if we got some more stages that are competitively viable. Because there are so many that are so close and so many that'd be interesting. I mean, like, you could bring, you could even just bring back old stages that we used to use, like the the Yoshi Story Brawl. Yoshi's Yoshi's Island, rather. Story Brawl, that yeah. would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like the best competitive stage or anything but like just that. Something. I do think uh, it was an incredible design choice for the Omega, because then we get to play on all these stages. Right. Yeah, it is really cool. And we get to see the art, because like you and know, music. In, yeah. in melee and uh, brawl. And even 64, there are so many like cool stages that obviously aren't fit com for competitive play, but we'll just never see those graphics. Exactly, cause. exactly. So yeah, that is cool. I, I think that is a, a nice little nod. Inject a little flavor into the the FD only life. Yeah, Luigi's also Luigi's up out of feels really good. I'm pretty sure uh, if he. Would have done the be out of shield. Oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> Spot dot to buttons. That's what's happening. <laughs> He's just running off stage down here. I love this so much. Oh, we live in. Barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah barely. <laughs> we just trying to <laughs> peel off the fire a little bit. Just dip his tips of his fingers in. Oh. Got slow, slow, slowing it down a little bit. Not doing as crazy on the buttons, but very consistent in his uh, in his hits. Yeah, he's winning a lot of neutral exchanges. Yeah, up smash gonna cover all that space. Nowhere for JCR to go. Hmm. Okay, Quick just finish. opting uh, for <laughs> <laughs> the bomb extending I'm done. the combo. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. It's Zadie. He's just buttonsing. It's the best for. That was actually a really good get up roll. Um, he, the the Samus JCR uh, jumped. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna be fireball. Anyways, he jumped and he timed a get up roll right when Samus really couldn't land under the ground and get the punish. Okay. Interesting. Scary position. Okay, JCR showing us some stuff. Oh, he's ready for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with that deck. Interesting up smash does not actually properly link though. <laughs> yeah, JCR's kind of sniffed out how how Slaw likes to run off stage with those downers. Oh, <laughs> first one didn't work. Got to try it again. If, if at first you second don't one didn't work, try it again. He's gonna do it again. Got power shield. Oh, oh no, that's gonna okay. be off the top. Yeah, that was clean. The the power shield, the run of power shield on the missile, set it up for the the roll behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. He was like, he was going in. Yeah. Yeah, it's Let's take notes. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's always interesting in Smash Four because you can like go these sort of off characters. Like Luigi isn't a great character.